It's been nearly a year since a local woman hired a contractor to bring two rooms at her house up to code. She paid thousands of dollars but says she still has major problems. She turned to the troubleshooter for help and Howard Ain shows you how to avoid permit problems. Robin Short bought a house in Forest Park six years ago and last year learned two sunroom additions had not been built according to the city's building code. So she hired a contractor to make corrections. Get permits. Uh, Remodify those two rooms to bring everything up to code and um, electrical, uh, roofing, just everything up to code. The contractor began work last June. He was telling me as the work was proceeding, it was going on, that the building inspector had been over to inspect it. Short says she paid him thousands of dollars after being assured everything was all right. Then she met with a Forest Park building inspector. Come to find out. Nothing was put up to code. Problems include no moisture barrier behind the siding and roof framing and shingles not installed according to plan. The building department says this electrical panel was not properly upgraded. So Short had to spend another $1,700 to get an electrician to come in here and rewire this properly. Building department inspectors cited the contractor and oh, yeah. Short Why for 16 code violations floor? back in February. Short had paid the contractor more than $18,000. He won't answer my calls, he won't answer my emails. He did the work, but he just did the work according to what, how he wanted to do, when he wanted to do it in, in his codes. The contractor tells me he stopped working after running out of money. Now he says he has health issues and has been in and out of the hospital. Short says she had no idea it's her responsibility to make sure a plan is submitted and approved and a permit is taken out before any work begins. Now that's an important lesson for everyone. Always make sure your contract calls for the company to draw plans and get them approved. Also make sure a contractor posts a work permit at the job site before beginning any work. Check with the building department yourself regularly as the work continues to make sure everything is done properly. Short has now hired an attorney and filed suit against the company. The case is set for June. We'll keep you informed. Howard Aim, Local 12 Troubleshooter.